Hi guys, what's up? What's going on? Hope you are good. In today's video, I want to show you how to create your own NFT. <clears throat> that is your own non-fungible tokens. Uh, I know NFT has been the buzzword around now. Like everybody's talking about NFTs, NFTs. So how can you create yours? Okay. So before I start, can you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our educative videos on trading, investing, and online business. Uh, without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, so guys, basically, uh, of recent, I was working on an NFT project for a friend of mine who is a digital artist. And the guy has actually done a couple of digital artwork you know over the years so when i told him that i can create an nft he was like you know let's let's give it a shot let's um you know turn all his digital art to a non-fungible token and for those of you that don't know what nft is or what non-fungible token is you know they are called digital collectibles and digital collectibles are things that you can truly own that digital things or digital replica of things that you can truly own and you are the only person that own it you know it's verifiable on the blockchain that you truly own it right so if there's a digital art like mona lisa if we turn it to an nft it means that um you truly own that mona lisa and we have history on the blockchain of you know maybe who you bought it from or when it was created how many times it has been sold the last buyers the last buyer you know and um why are nft important the reason why they are important is because we are gradually moving into a virtual age where where you know people are tending to own more and more of virtual things okay so uh we have some projects like the central land where you have virtual land spaces virtual houses so if you have any of these digital collectibles or digital arts you can actually you know, go and use it in your virtual space go and hang it in your virtual room or your virtual land okay so because these digital collectibles you know you, they are not you can't see a double of them you can't see a duplicate of them like there's only one of it and because you can see the history of how it, uh, it was bought how it was sold you know you are quite certain that okay, you are buying the original or the genuine copy of a digital art okay so my friend produced all these arts uh one is absentia alter ego lost allure funky ikilo and chasm of emptiness okay so uh, what we just did here is to turn it into a what an nft okay all right so now i want to show you how to create your own nft as simple as possible the first thing is the platform that you'll be using okay so you can create an nft at the moment using the ethereum blockchain or the binance smart chain okay so but for the case of this tutorial we're going to be using the binance smart chain simply because it's much cheaper to use the fees are very cheap okay so the first thing is we need to have a Binance Smart Chain wallet connected to our browser. Okay. So right now I'm in Chrome and I need to go and download the Binance Smart Chain plugin. Right. So I will need to search for the Binance Smart Chain plugin for Google Chrome. So I will add the extension to Chrome. I will add the extension. so i've added it to chrome so if you come here i'll pin it so it will show at the top i'll click on it so as a new user you need to create the new wallet create wallet generate seed phrase so it's asking me to, to create a password I'm creating some password. 
All right, this is my seed phrase for this wallet. So this is just a test wallet. I'm not going to use this for anything. So let me click to copy all of this and click on continue. So it's asking me for the 8, 11, and 12 key. Okay. So let me go to Notepad. The reason why I'm showing you this wallet is that I'm not going to be using this wallet for anything. So, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is breeze. Eleven is menu. Twelve is rug. Okay. So breeze. Menu. Rug. Okay, so now I have a new wallet and um, I need to first fund this wallet with some amount so that I can go ahead and buy uh, my NFTs. Okay, so let me come to receive. <coughs> so let me copy this address. So for my mobile wallet, I'll send in some BNB. Um, all right, so I've made the withdrawal. I'll send it to this address. Within a few minutes, it's going to arrive at this address, okay? So now, let's head over to where we're going to create our, our NFTs, okay? So first, let's choose an NFT. So, um, bakery swap. Bakery swap. Okay, bakery swap.org. That's where I'm going to create my NFTs, <coughs> okay? Alright, so when you open bakeryswap.org, you need to connect your wallet. You connect your Binance Smart Chain wallet. It's still loading. Alright, so you, you connect it. Alright, so my wallet is already connected with, um, bakery swap so i'll come to the nft marketplace this is where you can buy and sell nft and as you can see this is the amount of bnb i just deposited into my account so the next thing i'm going to do is um these are people's artwork by the way i'm going to come to mint artwork mint is like creating creating artwork okay all right, but before you can you can create, um, I don't know, network is kind of poor. All right, so now when it comes to NFT, your picture can be an NFT, a digital art that you created. GIF can be an NFT. GIF are like motion pictures. Video you can turn into an NFT, and audio you can also turn into an NFT. Okay, so but in our case, it's going to be picture, and this is what the image is going to be about. Instagram.com slash Naja Cash Flow. If you visit my Instagram page and you scroll down, I'm looking for a design I did myself that I have the copyright to. So, um, I can turn my happy new month image into an NFT. Let me see if I can download this. Okay. Um, it's not showing download for this. Okay. So let me look for another image that I liked so so much. You know, that somebody might be willing to buy. I like this image so so much. So I'm um, I'm a minimalist, so um I have the image, so that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, less is usually more I have the image here. Alright. So um I will copy it, take it to my desktop. Alright. So now that I know where the image is, I will head over back to Bakery Swap. Uh artwork name, okay less is more that's the name of this artwork then the artist now i need to add details about the artist okay uh, first is the image for the artist um you come to download 
you search for Lanke So I can go with this one with a PNG background, right? Name, my name is Lauke. Link to my profile. So, um, Instagram.com slash slash Lauke96. That's my Portfolio link. Please write about yourself. I'm a digital entrepreneur, farmer, and investor. I create things. From imagination. So they asked me to put a banner. Um, I'm not sure. I have a banner here. Yeah. Let me search. Alright, so that'll be all for now. Submit. Now, for me to submit this, it's going to cost an amount, right? So, success. This is done already. I have my details. So, I need to go back to that NFT marketplace. I'm going to mint a new NFT. So it's a picture, right? What's the name? Less is more. That's the name of my app. My name is here already, Lauke. And um, here is a link to my social media. So brief intro about that art that I'm just doing. So this, this art shows why less is usually more in life so what reality will i be charging for this art i'm charging 10 percent for anybody that wants to use it then i'll upload the art or the gif or the music or the video for it will need to be less than 10 megabytes okay so i'll go to my desktop where i have the original file then i'll choose the art less is usually more um, Okay, it's, it, it might not be a finance though. Um, then I'll mint it. It's going to charge me some fees for it to be minted. So I'll click on confirm. It's charging me $0.74 to mint it as an NFC. So, so um, I've done that already. So I now have an NFT called Less is More. So let me reload this page. If I reload, the BS is going to disconnect. So that means I'll need to connect it again. So I'll click on Connect. So it will now connect. I'll go back to the NFT marketplace. So I'll come to my artwork. When I click on my artwork, you see, I see you don't have any NFT. Yeah, I'll go to pending because that artwork is still pending, right? So now I'm going to see the artwork. Less is usually more. So I'll click on approve. 
Then I'm going to spend money again. Um, I don't know how many dollars this time around. Okay, 0.1 dollars this time around. Okay. So now I have uh, an NFT that has been approved. So creating all these NFTs will require you to spend money, right? But I've created this. I just I just want to show you how to add the uh, price to it in case somebody wants to buy. Do you understand? So um, let me reload again. So let me even go to my profile and see. So this is my profile, um, Lauke, for NFTs. Okay. So um, I haven't collected any NFT or bought any NFT, but at least I've created. So now that NFT that I've created, I uh, it's gonna take some time. It takes some time. Yeah, it doesn't just uh, go automatically. Otherwise, who will be able to spam the platform with a lot of NFT? So it takes some time for it to be approved. And uh, once it's approved, you see that you'll be able to add price to it, and you can also transfer it to other uh, wallets. In order addresses, okay. So that will be that for now. But um, let me show you more. Like, big swap. So, like, I, I, I have a friend of mine. So, as you can see, these are his artworks, right? I will put price there, put this big, I'll get big, okay? And, um, although we haven't got any buyers, but you know, that's how you create your NFTs. So, what you now need to do is like get people, you need to share it so that people will see it and um, you know, to gain more traction. Then, another the thing you can do is to have a series of NFTs. A series is like a collection. So, you have, maybe you are doing a collection for. Like this guy, he did a collection called Yokai. So Yokai is a series of NFTs. Let me come to download so I'll show you. So I'll show you the Yokai series. Yokai, 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 Yokai. So I'm trying to see. I've downloaded it. It's yeah, three, three one. Okay, this is Yokai series, Yokai 1, Yokai 2, Yokai 3. Let me open it for you so you see. Okay? So this this is my friend created this. You know, guy is nice. Right? Um, yeah, so this one. So he created this too. This is Yokai 1 too. This is Yokai 3. Right? This is Yokai 2. And he's selling all of them $300 each. Okay? So, that's how you create your NFTs. But after creating it, after make something into an NFT, you need to also sell it, right? So, um, for example, now, as soon as somebody gets to connect their wallet and buy this as PTC's you know, this guy is going to have it. And, um, Then ten percent of the sales of this will go to create. So that's why you're using realities, okay? So, so guys, that's all about creating your own NFT, uh, putting a price. Uh, although you still need to promote it before you make sales. Um, anyway, thank you for watching the video. Before you leave, kindly subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our educative videos on trading, investing, and online business. And until next time, keep learning, my friend. Bye.